Blessings, everyone, and welcome back to Expressions of Faith. I pray you guys are having a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Today I am doing week one of Illustrated Faith's Truth Camp Session 2. And it's titled Grace and Truth. And we study John chapter 13, verses 1 through 35. And I pray that the devotional content written by Taylor will bless you guys as much as it is blessing me. So I'm just going to share with you what Taylor writes in the devotional. You guys know that I don't focus on the artwork on this channel. I focus on the Word of God. So here we go. We've trekked from Galilee to Judea, through Samaria and back again. And now, here we are, climbing stairs to the upper room in Jerusalem on the night Christ was betrayed. In John chapter 13, we find a distinct difference between John's gospel and the other accounts. The first 12 chapters of John cover a period of years, but the next few chapters, a matter of hours. John has slowed his story to a snail's pace because what he recorded here is so very important. The way we behave in times of stress and crisis reveals our character. As I write these words, the country of Ukraine is under attack. The whole world is witnessing incredible stories of self-sacrifice and bravery by ordinary men and women. In John chapter 13, as his brutal death approached, the true nature of Jesus is put on full display. In Exodus chapter 34, verses 4 through 7, God describes himself by the name Yahweh, declaring his own character as abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Love and faithfulness, translated from the Hebrew words hesed and emet, are found all over the Old Testament as descriptors of God. In fact, Exodus chapter 34 verses 6 and 7 is the most quoted Bible verse by the Bible itself. Hesed is often rendered as loving kindness or mercy while emet is elsewhere translated as truth. The character of God is rich in merciful, covenantal love, faithfully true to his word. John echoes Hesed and Emet in, very, in the very first chapter when the apostle wrote that grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. The nature of God made known in Christ is captured in the opening verse of John chapter 13. He loved them to the end. Jesus is the Lord, Yahweh, abounding in love and faithfulness. Throughout the book of John, Jesus was maligned by religious leaders, unfollowed by fickle crowds, rejected by former followers, and misunderstood by pretty much everyone. In chapter 13, Jesus was betrayed by one of his own disciples. What does it mean for Jesus to abound in love and faithfulness toward Judas Iscariot? Before we get there, do you happen to notice all our amen amens in this chapter? We learned in part one of Truth Count that this phrase rendered in English Bibles as something like, truly, I tell you, means Jesus is speaking a truth that he has the unique authority to proclaim. Three times in this passage, Jesus utters these words. And in the last instance, John let us know that Jesus was troubled when he said, truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. Troubled means to be disturbed or stirred up inwardly 
like a smooth pond that begins to bubble and churn. The betrayal of Judas caused great turmoil within Jesus. Just because Jesus was fully divine does not mean he did not feel the agony of grief and betrayal. When you love someone deeply and faithfully, there will always be pain when they leave you or reject you. But what is the kingdom response to this kind of turbulent emotional pain? It is hesed and emet, grace and truth. Jesus didn't ignore the truth or pretend he didn't know what Judas had in mind. Listen, Jesus is the most emotionally healthy person to ever walk the planet. He didn't avoid his own pain or hide from the person who was inflicting it. Jesus doesn't ghost people. When Judas asked him, surely you don't mean me, Rabbi, the Lord responded, you have said so. Even when Judas kept up the facade of devoted disciple, Jesus remained rooted firmly in reality, undeceived. And then, rather than lashing out or letting things fester, he treated Judas with grace. Jesus washed his feet. He handed Judas a piece of his bread, a powerful gesture of friendship in ancient Near East cultures. It was one last opportunity to believe his love. One last chance for Judas to reject the lie and the hate that had a hold on him. But Judas hardened his heart to the truth and Jesus allowed Judas to leave. He let him go. He doesn't try to talk him out of it or call him out before the others. The disciples had no idea where Judas was going. Jesus faithfully loved Judas to the end and then placed the betrayal and its fallout into the perspective of God's plan. Jesus was rooted in the truth. His greatest mission and desire was to glorify God. When Jesus spoke about his crucifixion, he often put it in terms of God's glory. Following Jesus won't protect us from pain. Rather, living by the truth will require us to be honest about what hurts us. But it will also keep us from hardening into bitterness. This is not easy work. And Jesus provides a powerful example of spiritual maturity. When our hearts are troubled, we can display the trustworthiness of God in a powerful way. We can offer ourselves and our heartache fully to the Father who loves us. Keeping his commands will always be worth the cost. Jesus emphasized this when he said, Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you love one another, following this new instruction will become the evidence of true discipleship to Jesus. The command to love others was a new. It was, in fact, very old, as old as the law itself. What was new was Jesus' example of what love looked like in action. Love marked by grace and truth that has it and he met of Yahweh himself. Loving until the very end. Now that's love. I pray you guys were blessed. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that notification bell. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button and join the expressions of faith family. It would bring my heart so much joy. Thank you again for watching. And remember... That it is all about Jesus. It is all about him. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Until next time, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye.